Hey, how's it going? It is a little breezy and very chilly down here in Texas. I suppose it's kind of weird, but I didn't even know it gets this cold in Texas. Go figure. Anyway, I had this policy whenever I'm doing anything to get ahead of my game. I want to always get as far as I can, as much as get as much as I can done in the time that I have. Because I've learned in my life, as many others have before me, that when you think you have time, you don't. It's very much like I was talking about yesterday. If you think you have money, because you see a little bit of money, and you don't. Because it's a fact. There is no amount of money that you can't piss away, for, any, for lack of a better way of putting it. I mean, I've heard of basketball player, I forget his name, he had $108 million and he went on this extravagant spree. How he spent so much money, you wouldn't even think about spending like that. He would buy custom made suits that cost five, six thousand dollars a pop and only wear them once. And it's just, it does, you don't even need any more examples after that. Anyway. Getting ahead, I have found has served me well because every time I think that I have time or money, it always turns out that I had far less than I thought I had and something will pop up and take you out of the game. So the reason I'm thinking of this is because I get to the, the shipper I've got early. It's not supposed to load till tomorrow, but I want to see if they can do it today. Uh, many, many times I can get it done and then I'm that much ahead of the game. The rest of the time, like this, I, okay, we can't get it done for whatever reason, but I'm still ahead of the game. So I have time now to read a book, uh, make this video, write some emails, do whatever it is that I want to do to make best use of my time instead of just dragging along and barely squeaking by. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like every so often I'm, I'm going to say I'm done with it now. It's not going to happen anymore because I have learned my lesson and I'm good to go. But it seems several times in my life that I have slid back on this and it, maybe not every time, but often enough, you get put into a position where you can't get done what you want to get done. I'm trying to teach this to Rocket's daughter right now and, and tell her, look, if you save your money now, then you get the unexpected thousand dollar bill or whatever, it's a drag, but you can handle it. Or you get, you, you bank your vacation days, so you have them when you need them. Same thing with, with your time. If you can get something done, get it done now. That way you'll have that time later on. And I would like to say so you can do what you want, but every so often it comes up to where someone will drop the ball or you've got to do something else and you wouldn't have the time to do it if you hadn't gotten ahead of your game. And this is just something I, I live my life by and I wish I could just give it to everybody because the number of people who have a complete lack of a sense of urgency is a drag sometimes for me and other people who exist just to get things done. And we only got so much time, right? And it's ticking by every single day. So, if you've got the opportunity to get ahead and get something done, get on it. A public service message. Have you figured out your taxes yet? Did you do, fill out the form? That's something that you might want to get on. <laughs> Buzzkill. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. Staying ahead of the game. It's what keeps you sharp and it keeps you able to handle the unexpected when it inevitably shows up. That's all I got for today. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. I'm out.